Good morning, class. I'm Miss In. Today, I'm going to show you a few examples of、uh, integrations of very similar form.、Um, many times, students tends to use、um, same formula to find the integrations of very similar form, but, but this is not always true. So today, I'm going to show you a few example of integrations with very similar form, but they are a little bit different that students need to take note in order to figure out the correct formula to be used. So before、um, I start with the example, first of all, I will show you the few formula, a few formula that I will be going through today. So the first formula is integrations of a x to the power of n. This is the basic formula. So the constant a we always copy, and the power of x is raised by one, increased by one to get the new power, divided by the new power. And plus c,、uh, and the second formula is a x plus b to the power of n. So for this, power increase by one to get the new power. Divide by the new power, and student, please remember to differentiate inside. I mean, differentiate a x plus plus b, which is a, and you're going to put that as the denominator. And plus, it don't forget to put plus c as well, which is a constant. There's a constant that is a possibility you have a constant when you try to differentiate that gives a zero. So don't forget to put that. And <clears throat> let me put down here. So this a is actually obtained from when you differentiate inside. And I want you guys to take note that you can only apply this formula when you see linear form in the bracket. What that means is, it in the bracket, it only work for linear, such as a x plus b, but it doesn't work for. A x square plus b, which is not that linear. So this formula only works for when you see a x plus b, which is a linear form in the bracket. But if in the bracket you see a x square plus b, or e power x plus b, this formula cannot be applied on this form. Okay. And the third formula that I will be going through today is integrations of reciprocal of x. What I mean is one over x. Reciprocal of x, and this will be natural logarithm x plus c. And then the fourth formula is integrations of reciprocal of a x plus b. What I mean is one over a x plus b. And this answer of this is natural logarithm of a x. Plus b, and don't forget to differentiate inside, which is a, and you have to put that as the denominator. Plus c. So let me put down here. This is obtained when you differentiate inside the bracket. Okay. The fifth formula is integrations of exponent e to the power of a x. So please remember that when you have Exponent. We try to integrate. It's always the same. So integrations of exponent a x. The result will still be exponent e to the power of a x. And also, don't forget to differentiate the power, which is a, and you put as the denominator. Let's see. So this is from when you differentiate the power. Okay. So these are the formula that we'll be using to show the example today. So next,、um, I will show you the first example. Okay. So the first example, example one, we have integrations of reciprocal of x squared, which is one over x squared, versus integrations of 
reciprocal of x, which is 1 over x. So you can see that this two form is very similar. Okay, so for the form at the left side, when you see this form, I think all the students should know that you have to put 1 over x squared x in, in index form, which is x to the power of negative 2. And you just use the formula, the basic formula as usual. Um, power raised by 1, increased by 1 to get the new power, and divided by the new power plus c, then we will have x to the power of negative 1 over negative 1 plus c, which is negative 1 over x plus c. And this is correct. Okay, what happened to the integrations of the right side? Are you going to use the same way? What happened if we use the same formula to find the integrations? Okay, let's try it out. So for this, if we use the same way, then we need to put 1 over x in index form, which is x to the power of negative 1. Okay, if we use the same formula, which is power increased by 1, then we will have x to the power of negative 1 plus 1 over negative 1 plus 1, which is the new power, plus c. Do you guys see something wrong with this? Is there anything weird about this? Do you guys see that? What happened to the denominator? The denominator has become 0. And this is undefined. This form is undefined. So when you have a form like this, by using this formula to do integration, it's actually not correct. So the formula you should be using should be okay let me show you this formula do you guys see in, uh, formula number three so when you find integrations of one over x is always natural logarithm x so the formula that we should be using for the example i showed you just now should be formula number three instead of formula number one so let's go back to the example so for the answer to this should be natural the answer for this should be natural logarithm hmm? Wait, oh sorry I think ah, the answer to this should be natural logarithm x plus c. So this is a difference. So let's move on to the next example, example two. Okay, in example two, I'm going to show you the difference between the integrations of this form, uh, 2x plus 3 versus <clears throat> yes. you can see that these two looks very similar the only difference is that the integrations to the left side there's a square root but the right at the integration at the right side there's no square root it's very similar okay so for the integration at the left side when you see this form you will need to put into um, 2x plus 3 to the power of negative half and then if you put into this form the formula that you can use is let me show you the formula screen should be formula number two this is the formula we can use okay where the um, form in the bracket has to be linear and we have 2x plus 3 which is linear So this would be 2x plus 3 to the power of negative half increased by 1 over the new power negative half plus 1. And don't forget to differentiate inside the bracket. So when you differentiate inside the bracket, we have 2 plus c. So this will be 2x plus 3 to the power of negative half plus 1 is half. We have half over 2 times half plus c, and then the end result is 2x plus 3 to the power of half 
and we should know that 2 times half is 1. You can put this as your answer or you can put in this form, which is called radical form as answer. So this is correct. Okay, how about the integrations to the right side? What happens if you use the same way? So if you are thinking to use the same way, then we will need to put this 1 over 2x plus 3 as 2x plus 3 to the power of negative 1. And if we are using the same formula, where power negative 1 increased by 1, divide by the new power, and differentiate inside, is 2. Again, do you guys see anything wrong with this? Look at the denominator. Is there anything wrong with it? Yeah, the denominator is 0, which is, again, undefined. So which means, when you see this, this formula cannot be used on this. So the correct way of doing this is, let me write down this. And let me go back to the formula. The formula that you should be using is formula number 4 instead of number 2. Number 4, which gives us lo a natural logarithm. So for this, the answer to this should be natural logarithm to x plus 3. And don't forget to differentiate inside the bracket, which is 2, put as the denominator. So this is the answer. This is obtained when you differentiate in the bracket. Okay, so do you see the difference between these two? So when you see um, a linear expression to the power of negative 1, it, the answer is always in natural logarithm. And the left side is an expression power negative half. Then you just use the formula power raised by 1 divided by new power. Okay, next we move on to the uh, next example, example 3. So we have integrations to Okay, as you can see, this form looks very similar. The only difference is the left side involves x plus 1, but the right side involves e to the power of x plus 1. So for the integrations of the left side, okay, um, um, actually there are two ways of finding this integration. Let me show you the formula. Huh? <clears throat> you can either use formula number 1 or number 2. But if, in order to use formula number 1, you got to have um, addition and subtraction of a few terms. But for formula number 2 can also be used without expanding. You can use uh, formula number 2. So I'm going to show you, um, but, uh, the, I will show you the way of uh, applying this formula number 1 and number 2. So for this, if you choose not to expand, then the integration of this will be power increased by 1 divided by the new power. And don't forget to differentiate inside. And so happen when you differentiate inside, differentiate x is 1. So it makes no difference. And plus c. Then this whole thing will be x plus 1 to the power of 3 over 3 plus c. So this is correct. Is there another way of doing this instead of using this formula? Yes, there is. Or... Maybe you can choose to expand this um, by putting this two times. And if you expand this, you will have x squared plus 2x plus 1. There you can integrate term by term. And we will have x to the power of 2 increased by 1 over 2 plus 1 plus 2x power 1 increased by 1 divided by the new power plus and integrations of 1 is x because the pressure x is 1 okay plus c and then there we have x to the power of 3 over 3 and this will give us x squared if we simplify the numerator 2 with the denominator 1 plus 1 also 2 
to the numerator and denominator cancel. So plus x plus c. And this form is also correct. They're actually the same. These two are actually the same. If you try to expand this, if you try to expand this, you definitely get the same result as the as the other method. Okay, next we move on to the integrations of the right side. And for this integration on the left side, I there are two ways of doing this because it's only power 2 and it's possible to expand. But if this is not power 2, for example, x plus 1, x plus 1 to the power of 3 or to the power of 4, I wouldn't expand it because it's not wrong to expand that, just that it's very tedious to do that. You might need to use binomial expansions to expand, to expand the whole thing in order to integrate term by term, but that is not necessary to do that, but it's not wrong. So when you see x plus 1 to the power of 3 and above, I think it is uh, better to do the first way, the, 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 sh the way that I show on top. That, that, is the, that is the easier way instead of expanding it. But for power 2, expanding is still, is still workable because it's not very hard to expand. Okay, come, come back to these questions where the right side integrations. Okay, so when you see this, if you are thinking to do the same way, I mean, the first way, where increase by 1, without expanding it, let's say, without expanding it. <coughs> so, e to the power of x plus 1, power raised by 1, then we have 2 plus 1, divided by the new power, which is 2 plus 1. And if you are using this way, then you always need to differentiate inside the bracket and put as the denominator. That will be, and we know that differentiate e power x is e power x plus c and student need to know that this is wrong you can't do this because it's not linear when you differentiate inside the bracket and it doesn't give us a constant term this formula cannot be applied please remember that when if you want to use this formula remember that and you try to differentiate inside and it's not a constant this formula cannot be applied what i mean is let me show you the formula Formula number two. There's a restriction to this formula, formula number two. You can see that it only works for linear forms such as ax plus b. It doesn't work for other form. Okay. So in this case, we will have to expand this. We will need to expand this. So then we have e to the power of x times e to the power of x. Uh, maybe I write down this slowly. Plus e to the power of x plus e to the power of x plus 1. And for this there we have e to the power of 2x plus 2e to the power of x plus 1 dx. And if you then from there we can integrate term by term. So for integrations of exponent is e to the power of 2x. Remember when you integrate or, or, or differentiate exponent is always the same. And don't forget to differentiate the power 2x is 2 and you put as denominator plus 2e to the power of x and integrations of 1 is x plus c. So this is the correct answer. So student, please remember that when you are using this formula, try to differentiate inside. It has to be a constant. If it's not constant, you cannot apply this formula. Then you will need to expand. So that's, uh, that's all for today. That's all the example I want to show you guys today. So um, if you like the content, please um, comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.